So a recent project that I've been working on required a comparison of images that I created back in 1989 to show how I improved over the last 30 years. And I needed those old images to be upscaled larger. The problem I ran into was the image quality of the originals was horrendous and so too are the images themselves. So don't judge me on these photos. So my first attempt in Photoshop was a big fail. This meant I had to find a different app to get the desired results. And boy, oh boy, am I glad I did because the results are spectacular. So whether you have a low res file or need to upscale a photo in general, you'll need to use this app, which you can download for a 30 day free trial with the link below. But before you do that, let me show you the results from two of my images. All right, so here's an image that I captured in 1989, and that year was the first year that I started shooting with a semi-pro camera. And in the late 90s, I took the film and I scanned it in to use in Photoshop. So it's not a great photo, but I wanna show you how you can take a low res file like this one, you can see it's really pixelated, and then upscale it with the artificial intelligence built into this app. The other image I have here is of a hummingbird that I captured a few months ago, and it's heavily cropped. There was a lot of foliage around the hummingbird. There was a flower over here, but I just wanted to focus on the hummingbird. So I wanna show you how we can improve this image as well. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in here. A little bit too much. And let's see what the software has given us in terms of upscaling. So here's the original file size here, 2700 by 1800. So not that large. We're going to 6x the file and it's going to be a whopping 16,400 by 10,900 pixels. That's huge. I never go this large on any of my photos, but I just want to show you the power of this AI software. So let's see what it did automatically by itself without any input on myself and boom, it's much better than it was before. Plus, it's six times larger. So it's sharpening the image, it's getting rid of digital noise and digital artifacts at the same time. So this is a must have for me when I want to upscale my images. Now check out what it does with a low res file. This one is 400 by 600, 6x again, 2400 by 3600. So this size, you can get a decent eight by 10 or 11 by 14 print. So let's zoom in here so we can get a closer look here and really pixelated and let's see what it does. How cool is that? I love it. Now it is a little aggressive and it's smoothing out the skin a little bit, but you have to remember this is a very small teeny tiny file and the AI doesn't have a lot of pixels to work with. So it has to create some in the process and it's smoothing out the skin too much for my liking. But we do have an AI model over here with some different resolution settings that we can try to get better results from. So if we try low resolution for this particular file, it should create something a little bit better and it's slightly better, not much. To continue elevating your photography skills and to learn more about editing, check out this video right here. Thank you and have an awesome day.